actually sure I want to do this video because zombie caterpillars sound like an absolute nightmare. Now apparently these little critters are exploding, which okay, <laughs> guys. So a little pre-story warning. Stop eating right now. Like right now. Put your food down. Put it away. If not, it's coming out of you. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to IO. I'm Rebecca Felgate, and today I am bringing you some creepy and gross news. So you know. You're welcome. Caterpillars are dying because of a zombie virus that, according to scientists, brainwashes them. The caterpillars are being brainwashed. Like, what is life right now? The baculovirus has been infecting our bugs, leading them to explode in a goo that then covers other critters, infecting them too. Wildlife professional Dr. Chris Miller has accurately described goings on as being like a zombie horror film. Oak egger moth caterpillars who have contracted the virus start behaving really erratically and are brainwashed into changing their usual behavior. Instead of hiding from sunlight like usual, the virus is leading them to climb as high as possible, sometimes up trees. So if you get a nasty goo in your hair when you're walking through trees, you could have zombie gunk on you. Wow. The virus makes bugs' bodies liquefy and eventually burst. It was first noted around 100 years ago, but it appears that the virus is now stronger than ever, and American scientists have only recently identified the way the sickness controls the grub. A professor from Penn State University, Dr. Jim Slavikek, said, Who knew that a virus could change the behavior of its host? Maybe this is why we go to work when we have a cold. The concerning thing about the virus is that it may actually affect more than just caterpillars. Some think it could be spreading to snails. Wildlife professionals have urged people to remain vigilant and if they see a zombie caterpillar or a caterpillar high up in leaves or trees, they said that they should report it to their local park or wildlife trust. Blimey guys, zombie caterpillars, maybe the apocalypse is coming after all. You guys remember a video I did earlier this week about a guy who had predicted that we were at the beginning of the end, right? Like. He did mention a plague of bugs, so I'm thinking maybe these are zombie bugs, because that's pretty gross and apocalyptic. So before I go, I just want to read a few comments from that video, because the comments have been coming in thick and fast, and the video is one of the most viewed this week. One loyal potato called, I don't know if I'm a Mexican potato or an American potato, wrote, talk about the end of the world. Me continues eating fruit. Well, my Mexican and American potato friend has the right idea, guys. Keep calm, have a peach or, you know, a potato and just wait. Anyone else eat potatoes with beans and cheese on top of them or is that just a British thing? Either way, yum. Somehow it always ends up back with cheese for me. Maybe I have a problem. Okay guys, so we have time for one more comment before we end this video. Oh look, it's another kid with a Kermit profile pic wrote, thank god, the end of Jake Paul, which lol. But wait, aren't there supposed to be 10 plagues of the apocalypse? Now guys, forget about zombie bugs, maybe team 10 is the plague. 10 plagues, 10 of them. I mean, I think I'm onto something and I need to contact the press immediately. I have solved it. So. Zombie bugs! What a day! Do you guys think this is the beginning of the end? Let me know in the comments box down below. For now, I'm Rebecca Felgate, and do you know what? I'm really creeped out, and I'm pretty on to the conspiracy theory that Team 10 is the apocalypse. Let me know if you think that in the comments below. For now, give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and you know, stay away from zombie caterpillars and Team 10. Can only mean bad things. See you next time.